Okay, so this video is going to pick up where we left off, and um, we had just finished graphing b of x, which was our, I'm sorry, I have it labeled incorrectly. It's b of x equals absolute value of x plus 1, which was a shift up 1. And then therefore when the minus 2 is outside of the absolute value symbol, we said it was a shift down 2. And I graphed that again because the next few, uh, on the next page, those bullets go along with this graph. So looking at a shift up and down would be a vertical shift. So on this page, it says the graphs are the same blank, but have different blank. So when we're shifting vertically, again, that's up and down. If you look on the previous page, they do have the same shape. But what's different is the y-intercept or vertex. Okay, that y-intercept was moved up one. If it was the other function, c of x function, that would be a shift down two, and it would start here. Okay, so they have the same shape. It's still a v-shape, but they have different y-intercepts. And I'm going to put in parentheses, they have a different vertex. In the next bullet, it says the graph of b of x equals x plus 1. That was the graph that was shifted up 1 because it had the plus 1 outside of the symbols. So again, that was shifted up one unit. And then c of x on the previous page was a shift down two units, and that's because the minus 2 is outside of the symbol. So when you have that plus or minus outside of the absolute value symbol, that's going to be a shift vertically, which is up and down. So in conclusion, the graph moves up or down according to the value outside of the absolute value symbol. So in function notation, you take the function, whatever the function may be, okay, and then you add or subtract c, okay, where c, a positive c shifts up, and the negative c shifts down. And now we're going to finish up with a horizontal shift, which is a shift left to right, to that basic or parent function of f of x equals absolute value of x. So once again, it's graphed. It says given the graph of f of x equals absolute value of x, graph d of x, which is the absolute value of x plus 2. Predict what will then happen with e of x which is the absolute value of x minus 3 if drawn on the same set of axes. So you notice that both of these were either subtracting or adding, but within the absolute value symbols, not outside. So let's draw, first of all, our table, as one is not provided. For the d of x function, we'll do first. So let's look at the calculator. And this is a calculator with a, or a computer with a newer software. So I want to go to y equals, which I'm already there. And I'm going to type in the absolute value. So we go to math under number, absolute value is choice one. And it's the absolute value of x plus two. So x plus two. Go to your table of values. And once again, we're looking for that y value that is on the top and bottom, okay, of our table. So I'm going to scroll up until I see the same number match on top and on bottom. I'm right here. However, if you look at this table, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points. We only need 7. So if you look at the vertex, that point right in the middle, negative 2, 0. And then we'll take the points 3 to the left and 3 to the right. So negative 2, 0 was the vertex. 
So counting down three, because it's three left, would be negative three, negative four, negative five, and counting right, negative one, zero, one. Looking back at the table, looking at negative five, it goes three, two, one, and then you can see zero, and then one, two, three. So three, two, one, one, two, three. So take a minute to plot these points. Again, if you need to pause it and then pick it back up when you're done graphing, that's fine. So negative two, zero. Negative three, one, one, one. Remember to stretch it all the way across your graph. And you could see this vertex was shifted one, two units to the left. You would think the plus two would move it right, but it's the opposite and it's shifted left two units. Okay, so let's make note there was a shift left two units. So based on what happened to d of x, what do you think will happen to the function e of x if within the symbols we're subtracting 3? Well, if the positive was a shift left, the negative is a shift right. You make sure you include the number of units. So 3 units. I'm going to go back and label this graph d of x. Okay, everything's labeled, so let's look at the bullets. It says the graph of d of x equals the absolute value of x plus 2 is the graph of f of x, so we, or f of x equals the absolute value of x. So we took that graph, that parent function, and because of the plus 2, we moved left. It's opposite. And then e of x equals the absolute value of x minus 3. We took the graph of f of x equal to the absolute value of x and shifted it right 3 units. Conclusion. The graph moves right or left, which is opposite the sign inside the absolute value. In function notation, we would see f of x plus or minus b. Again, it would be inside of that function notation. If it's a plus b, we're going to move left b units. And if it's a negative b, we move right. So we have three short examples on the back, and then we'll be done with the notes on absolute value function. Write the equation of the function shown in the graph to the right. So you want to know from 0, 0, where the new vertex is, or how do you move from the origin to the new vertex. So that's left 1, and then up, my board's not calibrated, that's a little too far, come on Mrs. Simons. So I'm just going to, without knowing the arrow, it's left 1, up 1, 2, 3. Okay, so to the absolute value symbol, we'll call this, uh, again, equations the same as function, and we're going to write in function notation instead of in terms of an equation. So f of x equals, make your absolute value symbol. Now the left or right you note first within the symbol, so left one is going to be x plus one, as it's the opposite, and then because of the up three, that's outside of the symbol, and that's going to be plus. Write the equation for y equals absolute value of x shifted to the right four units and down two. So we will leave it in terms of an equation. This time, remember, f of x is the same as y. So y equals, again, within that symbol is left or right, and since we're going right four, it's going to be the opposite. We think plus four, but it's minus four. And then down two units 
minus 2. And the last one, when graphed on the same set of axes, and how many points do the graphs of y equals absolute value of x and y equals 3 intersect? So make a sketch. And let's actually go to the calculator. So let's go to y equals, clear that. The one graph is y equals absolute value of x, so math, under the number column, absolute value of x. And then the other graph, so in y2, is y equals 3. So when we look at this graph, there's the v function for absolute value, and there's the horizontal line, y equals 3, because even though there's a change in x, the y value remains the same. Uh, as you move from one point to the next. So let's copy that or sketch that onto our paper. So y equals absolute value of x was the first one. So it's the v centered right at 0, 0. And then y equals 3. And how many times does it do they intersect? Once, twice. That's choice. Two.